Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back to Ironclad RC. Got the Dominator on the block. Okay, the last video with this boat, we actually, uh, we had a pretty bad tumble. Okay, and we broke our battery tray out. Okay, so uh, in this video, we're actually going to be installing the battery tray back into the boat. I'm going to show you guys how I epoxy my battery trays electronics trays in the boat uh might not be the right way but it's big b's way okay so stick around big b with ironclad rc okay okay so i've actually been kind of prepping it up just to save some time in the video uh i've actually sanded all the old stock adhesive off got it down to some clean carbon fiber okay uh, did the same thing with the hull of the boat I uh, took my Dremel with a, a, a grinding wheel on a medium low speed and just grinded that black adhesive off both both sides okay got it down to some clean carbon fiber N not too deep just get the get the adhesive off all right so um, so what I've done is uh, actually took some 40 grit here 40 grit okay and uh, I'm actually roughing up my work surface I actually you know vacuumed it up with a vacuum cleaned it with alcohol now I'm making another mess but we're we're basically using 40 grit to scar gouge gouge into the hole go one way go the other way okay uh, you want it you want to see gouges scars in it okay you, you you need a rough work surface when you're using epoxy i'm going to be using this venom carbon uh laminating resin okay it's been working real good for me here lately and we're going to use that along with fiberglass chopped up and carbon fiber chopped up i need to chop some more up but that's what we're going to use okay and we'll go one application initial application with fiberglass our separate application will be with fiberglass and carbon fiber and we'll probably do three okay so uh the most important part is prepping up the work area okay and um you can use the 40 grit like i'm using i think i'm going to use this dremel bit right here i'm actually going to use that bit and scar into the hole okay maybe do some cross hatching where the tray is going to go you got to figure you're going to be filling it in with epoxy so uh you could kind of gouge it you know go 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 into it go into the hole you know the hole itself is a uh, 1.3 millimeters thick you know so i mean you got a little bit of room to play but you don't have much room so if you decide to use something like this with a sharp point to get your surface uh roughed up be careful but this is what i'm going to do carbon fiber it's kind of hard to bond to especially like uh like hulls that are built like this they're kind of hard to bond to hence the reason why this broke out it's like your hand your hand is the epoxy okay uh if you don't have something to grip and hold the epoxy it, the epoxy is going to slip off so you know, you grab on something slippery, it's going to slide off of it. You grab on something that has some texture, it'll grab it. You can grab it and hold on to it better. So, maybe that'll help you guys out. Um, so, I actually, real quick, I'll show you this. I actually took this battery tray off the flood chamber right here. Um, it weighs 53 grams. With four battery straps, I would say close to 60 or 70. <laughs> so, I took this out of the boat, just to lighten it up. I don't use it, never have. And, um... It's really nice though i'll put it back in there i just screwed the screws back in okay Basically, just kind of engraved some some like squiggly lines on both sides i'm not done just wanted to update you guys because i uh i made a boo-boo okay there will be blood <laughs> oh my god i just rammed i was i was like working on this battery tray and i just rammed like I was doing that number there, you know, making some little divots with this guy right here. And I was doing, let's see, I was doing right, right here 
you can see where it slipped off and that thing right there just went straight into my finger boy and it and literally i cleaned it up off the hole a, a thing of blood just shot <laughs> when i pulled it out it just shot right onto the boat <laughs> got the bleeding to slow down now so if you're if you're doing this maybe you shouldn't hold the battery tray in your hand maybe you should do it on the table which is what i'm gonna do <laughs> okay so i actually did some more work here okay i've actually took that same bit at a really low speed and, and put some long gouges in my hull and some like cross hatched gouges on top of the the squiggly lines you guys seen earlier my finger it's not as bad as i thought it was <laughs> But I went ahead and did some more holes in this guy right here. I got everything cleaned up with isopurple alcohol, 91%. Sitting around, it's nice and clean. That's the most important part. Prep it up. That's the most important part. That's why I'm going through these extra steps. All right. Hopefully you guys can see it there. Okay, so now let's add our fiberglass. Don't want it too thick. You want... a a kind of a a little bit thinner than peanut butter you know but you want it to stay so it don't run down into the keel you know you don't want it too thick to where it's gonna break if if you have a big impact but not too thin where it runs in the keel and makes a mess of everything so there's kind of like a fine line there you know so I usually just kind of stand it up in my I usually just kind of stand it up in my bowl if it wants to fall down it's too thin I'm going to add, add a little bit more, but you actually want to give it about a, you know, about a minute or so because the, the fiberglass actually soaks up the epoxy, you know, so give it, give it some time to, to fully saturate all your hairs you put in there. Okay, so you see how it's staying in place? I don't want to go no thicker than that. Okay, that looks good. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to brush my epoxy onto my battery tray. Okay. Brush it on my battery tray first. I like to try to like get as much surface area on my part that I'm bonding to as possible. What I'm trying to say is get as much epoxy on the part as you can, you know, for it to hold and grab. All right. Uh, we drilled those little holes in there, so you want to make sure that the epoxy gets into those little holes that we drilled, okay? So, I'm going to take my time with this. Here, it's about 35 minutes. I definitely don't recommend. I'm going to use five minutes for the project. This is just a number of glues. Special battery and holding six batteries. Definitely don't use five minutes. Or even further than that. You have this selector landing resin. Designed for use with fiberglass and carbon fiber. Bonding to fiberglass and carbon fiber. Okay, it's made to layer. Now, you can put two or three layers on the top. So, keep that down so the epoxy doesn't go And I'm going to go ahead and brush on my epoxy I'm not gonna put the hairs on right yet I'm basically just using the epoxy right now I'm using a hard stiff brush to get it down into those little voids that we created with the Dremel okay you see what I'm doing here increasing my surface area don't just try to bond like that little slither of where it contacts the hole you know if you just put like a little layer of epoxy where it where the battery tray comes in contact with the hull you're probably gonna it's probably gonna break loose you know so go 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 big with it you know under the battery tray is not going to be visible to the naked eye okay so you could actually you know increase the surface area below the battery tray and it's not going to really show you feel me and if you use a hard bristle brush like this and work it into the hull, that's going to ensure any dust that may have been left over after cleaning the hull, that's going to ensure that dust is wiped off and smeared into and mixed in with the epoxy. Okay, like I said, I don't care if I go up to my lifting strikes, I can wipe up any excess, clean it up later on with alcohol. Okay, this is the initial glue up, so you want get it, to get it in there. You know, so I'm actually going to lay my battery tray in the boat and that epoxy on the battery tray should give us a reference where we're, we're going to be bonding, you know, we'll clean up all that access later on. All right. So I see where I need to lay down my thickened epoxy. You guys see that? All right. Kind of giving myself a little reference right here. 
So right now I'm just kind of doing and um, prepping and moving my fiberglass hairs around, getting it settled in where the battery tray is going to sit at. Okay, kind of puddling it up, moving it around. You know, like I said, we want a big area contacting the hull. All right, all that's going to grab onto the boat hull, you know. Right, this is how I'm doing it, you guys. You can do it however you want. I'm just showing you how I do it, all right. So you guys see how I got it arranged there? Okay, so when I put my battery tray in, it should it should sit right on that built up fiberglass. Okay. Alright, we can actually kind of move some of this fiberglass around fill in those little seams right there take any extra fiberglass out okay so I'm using the extra hairs that was in my cup left over before I put weight on it and I'm pushing those hairs under the ends of my battery tray and kind of kind of putting a fillet around the edge okay so it looks like that when I'm done all right alcohol clean up my hole okay this is something you don't want to forget definitely don't forget this part even though you you were really careful you know not to touch the boat there's always that slight chance you had a little drop i got a drop right there when i did all this and i didn't realize it and it's like bugging the mess out of me if you have dried epoxy drip on your hole i found wd-40 will get it off okay just so you guys know so i'm actually gonna clean up my battery tray with the alcohol hit any of this extra area where i kind of spread it out knock that off that's just extra weight that you don't need in the boat okay i'm gonna stack up as many batteries as I can okay so these are 6s bricks right here okay 7600 9500 another 9500 which by the way one of the cells dropped out in the CNHL that's a freaking bummer I got maybe a half a season out of that battery maybe a little bit more all right, so I got three 6S batteries, and I'm going to put a few more on top, okay? And I'm not going to even think about touching it till tomorrow, all right? It's the next day, you guys, and I hadn't really touched the boat since I threw the batteries on there. So uh, let's take them out. Let's check it out, see how it turned out, and I'm um, going to need to prep it up for our next application. Oh, it actually looks pretty good. I was thinking that my fiberglass and epoxy had run down into that crack where the battery tray was sitting you know I thought it would run down into the hole but it actually looks pretty good it looks pretty good it turned out nice actually I could probably stop here almost tempted to but um I just cut up some more carbon fiber because that other carbon fiber I had it was dirty it had some like nasty stuff in it trash so I'm gonna hit this with some um some 40 grit I'm gonna knock down any high spots okay you can see I got some high spots here got some low spots so what we're gonna do is just basically catch up all the low spots to the high spots but I'm gonna sand it real good with 40 and then 80 and then 40 again just kind of just kind of manicure it you know um, like up here I want to sand into the hull again a little bit into the hull just so I have something like uh, some fresh material to bond to. I got everything kind of leveled out best I could here. I didn't really go crazy with it because I didn't want to take too much of that fiberglass out. That's most of our structure. I'm going to add my carbon fiber. I want it to be not quite as thick as our previous application of the fiberglass epoxy. I want it to be thin so it kind of stays where I put it but 
it it's still runny, like a runny consistency. You know? See that? It's like it'll still drip, but stay stay where it's put put at. Alright, let me grab a, a paintbrush because we're gonna brush this on so it gets all into all those little little like pinholes and nooks and crannies. So I got the I'm using the same brush I used before. I cleaned it up with alcohol so I can keep it around. And right now I'm just basically just trying to get epoxy down into all the little nooks and crannies. This is the only little section I'm going to do, basically, that area right there. I made sure epoxy and everything was packed up under the battery tray anywhere and everywhere I could. So right now I'm just kind of going going for top side reinforcement. Once we get the epoxy laid out, we'll put the hairs down. It's a thinking man's game. You got to think about this stuff can't just slop on epoxy and expect stuff to hold it in, in a crash at 60, 70 mile an hour. You can't just slop it on there. You gotta think about it. You gotta think about your approach. You gotta think about, you know, the, the materials, how you use the materials, how you lay it out, how you clean the surface. It's a thinking man's hobby. It really is, man. It really is. It's gonna overlap the battery tray to the slit right here. And we're going to overlap onto the hole where the streak is. I'll fast forward through it. Okay, so I got my carbon fiber laid out. What I'm going to do now is uh, just take my brush, dab up a little bit of that dry carbon fiber. Basically, brush it right on top of the wet carbon fiber. It's just like laying out a sheet, you know, like a cloth, a piece of cloth. That's where you get your strength is the is the, the carbon fiber strands, you know. Put too much on there to become brittle, which we uh, we went light with the fiberglass in our epoxy on the initial glue up, so it shouldn't be brittle, it shouldn't be too hard and crack. It should have a little bit of uh, flexibility, you know, because I, I, I didn't go too heavy with my fiberglass. Okay, so I'm gonna manicure this out. I'll uh, I'll slow it down once I'm done. D U N D. <laughs> All right, so you see how this carbon fiber? See how I dabbed it on top of that epoxy? It kind of blended it into the rest of the hull. You can barely even tell it was it was done. You know what I mean? Um, so we have the fiberglass epoxy holding it into the boat, and the carbon fiber epoxy uh, to like give it this that little extra rigidity. Okay, I basically built the battery tray into the hull into the boat okay we we did we took the dremel and we did all that uh scarring and and and, and grooving and not you know and and drilled into the battery tray to get that little more surface contact something for it to grab onto so uh it should last it should last as long as the freaking boat's around you know what i'm saying it should it should so that's how i epoxy my battery trays it electronics trays into my boats you know hopefully this helps you guys out sorry it was a long video but it's a long it's literally a three-day process okay so we'll see you guys next time build it ironclad build it the way you want but build it ironclad thanks for watching